We have multiple clips in the timeline, and I actually actually just accidentally dragged this clip. But the really fun thing to do is set your order of clips. This clip, off of my memory, I think she tosses hair, and I think that's a really energetic clip. It's a great way, I think, to start the video. Kind of goes into our earlier best practice of having the video clip start as exciting as and as energetic as we can. So I'm going to take this clip and drag it to the very left there. So that's going to be the first clip that plays in this video. So as I look at these clips, there's one thing that stands out to me. And it's that this clip is a little bit colder than the other clips. Like if you look at this first clip as a warm golden tone, but this clip has a bluish cold tone. And so the clips feel a little bit different. I'd really like to make them match up. So if I was really feeling energetic, I could actually go into my color tab here and tap Tune. And I'm given this option called White Balance. If you're familiar with that, um, on the iPhone, like your camera has a, a white balance option. Also, video cameras is a really common option. It just kind of basically determines how warm or cold your picture is. So if I, if I was feeling ambitious, I could go in here and I could adjust that and match it to the other clips. But I'm not feeling that quite that ambitious <laughs> this time around. So a really good trick, actually, to make all your clips match, match up. Like, let's say you're on a trip and you took, let's say you're going to on vacation and you have a picture by the pool and you have a picture of your hotel and maybe a picture in a restaurant, all these places might have different lighting. So a really, really great trick to just make them all match up and feel the same is to go ahead and make them look black and white. So I'm going to go ahead and select this clip, sorry, select the presets button and make it black and white. And I'm going to do the same for the other clips. So now you can see when we look through our clips, they all really match up now because they're black and white. Now, when I look at this clip, one thing stands out to me, and it's a little bit darker than the other clips, lighting-wise. So I'm going to go ahead and just tune that really quick. I'm going to tap on the Color tab, tap Tune. And I have this Brightness option. So I can control the brightness there. And I can also preview that while it's playing. So I'm going to just go ahead and adjust that until it looks right. So I think that looks a lot better. That brightened up the clip a lot more. So I think we're looking pretty good. The last thing I want to do is, again, apply my favorite overlay, which is the light leak. So let's go ahead and apply light leaks to these clips. Cool, so I'm really liking the way that looks. The last thing I want to do is I want to add a title to this video. So I'm going to go ahead and add a clip. I'm going to select from my camera roll. And I'm going to select a title graphic I made earlier. I'm going to go ahead and set this to two seconds long. So I tap the two seconds button on the bottom. Because I don't want my title card to be overly long, but I want it to be long enough where people can read it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark button to import that. And I'm going to move this title card to the very beginning of my video. And this title card, it's a little bit boring. Again, we had talked about earlier our best practices. You want to make the video interesting right away. So. I think this title card could use a little bit, little bit of motion. So I'm going to go into this Edit tab right here. There's an option there called Photo Motion. It's a button on the left. I'm going to go ahead and select the slider on the bottom and slide it to the right. I don't know if you can read that text, but that's going to go ahead and zoom in this title card while it plays. And let's go ahead and add a light leak, too, and see how that looks. 
So now you can see it's a lot more interesting than just having a blank title card that's not moving or doing anything. So the last thing to do is just to check in and see how this video is all coming together. Oh, and sorry, actually, I forgot to add audio. So I'm going to tap the audio button here, select my music. and select Hey by Juanitos. Go ahead and import that. I just use the default options because I want that music to play from the very beginning. And the last thing for me to do is tap this button on the bottom right. It looks like a little repeating recycling icon. Right now, that just makes my clips play over and over. But if I tap that, that's just going to play through all my clips so I can see it as one whole video. So let's go ahead and hit play. Wow.